you very much for <coughs> kind introduction. Uh, could you start the video? I would like to talk about the immersive VR, AR, and MR, and the uh, uh, holographic surgical navigation uh, for uh, laparoscopic surgery. And nowadays, we uh, getting we can getting out from a monitor because we we have the perception of the patient anatomy by using the VR, AR, and mixed reality MR. At first, by reconstructing the patient-specific 3D, 3D surface model of the polygons we, for the each organs by uh, MDCT uh, using Ozarix, immersive VR navigation system was developed using uh, volume, volume rendering and surface rendering. And we surgeon can walk into a patient abdomen by using the 3D MDCT, not only the monitor, but also the VR virtual reality system we can walk around at the direction we want. You can see the pancreas, you know, and uh, an archie around the pancreas, and uh, uh, into a hepatic bile duct or something. And by using the head mount display like this, we are using the Oculus Lift or Vive HCC Vive system. Uh, this have a wide, view, a wide field of view. The head mount display has full six degrees of freedom, rotational and uh, Positional tracking. This tracking is precise load latency and sub millimeter accurate. Position tracking, uh, standing graphics, a uh, wide field of view, in intuitive controllers, and uh, head, uh, HD haptic feedback provide an unparalleled sense of the motion. And uh, this is a simulation for a surg surgical procedure. Before surgery in the operative room, Everybody can watch the patient anatomy directly from uh, a VR system by using the head mount display. And uh, this is available for uh, education for young student, young surgeon, and resident. And uh, they can walk in the abdominal field. And this is another topic for uh, uh, augmented reality. AR is a, a live, direct, or indirect view of the physical and real world environment. You can capture the patient anatomy outside from a monitor by using the Z-space. And we developed a holographic augmented reality system by sensing the user's hand and arm position and the motion sensor and the CD glasses. And during the actual surgery, you can see the patient 3D models in front of the patient in the air. By using this system, the monitor should be located far from the patient body. Under the sterile condition, you can capture and you can manipulate the patient specific 3D data. And this is another topic of uh, mixed reality like uh, Star Wars movie. And it is merging the real and the virtual worlds. And we usually use the HoloLens uh, by Microsoft. And this HoloLens have an uh, inside uh, tracking system. And it have the infrared light sensor. That it can capture the location and motion of a real object. And we can merge the patient's CD anatomy and the real world during surgery. And we can control by gesture and the voice uh, inter interoperatively. And we can share the position and the location of uh, each HoloLens and CD object. So everybody can watch the same uh, model in front of the uh, uh, operative field. And this is a simulation of the preoperative uh, surgery for uh, liver cancer. And now you can see the white uh, liver cancer and the blue uh, liver vessels and the red uh, liver arteries. And uh, this hand is me. I explain how to cut, where to cut the margin of this patient. And everybody can share these images by using the HoloLenses. Each, each, each surgeon can uh, watch the same object in the same location in the air because every uh, HoloLenses can capture the, their uh, location data uh, by using the infrared light sensor. 
uh, under the sterile condition, everybody can watch the patient anat patient's 3D anatomy in front of the patient body in the air. It is very useful for uh, nav navigation surgery. And by gesture control during surgery, we can uh, view or uh, de delete these data. And uh, this uh, HoloLens is very not, not so heavy, and uh, there's uh, very few stress for our surgeons. So un, uh, during uh, more than three or uh, four hours operation, uh, there's no stress for our surgery surgeons. And now I showed the location of the cancer, and another surgeon can uh, detect the same area of the cancer, the yellow one. The white line, edge line, is a surgical margin. It is very available not only for uh, laparoscopic surgery, but also the open surgery. We can put this data in front of the patient abdomen, or we can change the size of the uh, anatomy, bigger or smaller. And this can calculate the location and the position of the patient anatomy, and we can merge the same direction and the same sites. And we also integrated the Google Tango technology by using the uh, Fab2 Pro by Lenovo uh, for, uh, tablet PC. And it is also available for a smartphone like this. And when you move with a smartphone, everybody can uh, create the user experience that include indoor navigation, city mapping. In conclusion, we reported in interact interactive benefits of uh, immersive VR, AR, MR devices in surgical planning, simulation, and image-guided navigation. Thank you for attention.